Okay, so if this video goes off, it means that I never lost my camera, but I do have to apologise. I'm doing it on one of my old ones because I do not want to be losing my new camera. I will cry, especially if that's got review videos and things like that on. Now, obviously, we go to Brighton today. We're staying down for the weekend. But right now, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but someone's having a good sing in the shower. Sweetie, are you enjoying your singing in the shower? I don't think you realise this, that I'm genuinely putting this on YouTube. He, mu he probably thinks I'm calling this bluff. I'm not. Do you know, pink teacher, hun. Pink teacher. Anyway, off to Brighton. Well, we've arrived in Brighton and now we're just basically trying to find our hotel, which apparently is like a five minute walk from the station down the hill. So, we're just on a stroll, aren't we? <laughs> Genuinely think I might move to Brighton just for that. That is, yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Look, you've seen it. Unicorn inflatable. <laughs> Sassy there with the suitcase. We're still trying to make our way to the hotel. This is your side of the bed, is it? You reckon, hen? You reckon, hen? Fight me over it. Whilst he's doing his coffee, we have arrived. I love this hotel room. We actually have a balcony. Like, oh my god. I've got to work out how to get out into said balcony. Um, or onto said balcony, should I say. But um, I'm also doing a cheeky little room review of this hotel. And I'm thinking next year, I'll do another hotel. Unless a plan happens, which you guys will find out about a bit later, because a bit later on, I am taking the Brighton Virgin. Yes, this person right here has never been to Brighton, and I've spent half my life down here. But that one right there, have you ever been to Brighton? No. So, I'm taking him down to Brighton Marina later, which is my favourite part of Brighton. It's also where I spend the most time when I'm in Brighton. And then we might go to the pier at some point. Obviously, Pride is tomorrow. Sweet Pie, if I'm nice enough to you, I might even let you have the Earl Grey tea that's in my bag. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Wow. Chocolate chip cookies. You're having the biscuits, I'm having the hot chocolate. No, you can have the stem ginger one. Okay, oh, I love ginger. And I'll have the chocolate chip. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Go into the fridge. As soon as I got my bottle of water out. This sass pot right here is about to complain. No, it's just that is not a full size chocolate bar. On board, we get a double one. So it should be a bigger chocolate bar. That ain't, a Kit Kat ain't even a chocolate bar, that's a biscuit. <laughs> a Kit Kat's a biscuit with chocolate. A chocolate bar's like a dairy milk. But being so posh, should have had a day of milk. Any Gatwick-based EasyJet crew ever see this vlog, please help me. Well, a Kit Kat is a biscuit. So I'm thinking, Sainsbury's, we have a mini fridge. I'm thinking we go stock up a little bit. We go to Nespresso. We then come back, get ready, and go out on the marina for dinner. You enjoy that coffee, hun. I'm so happy and also because I can get around, I can do this, I can do that, I can do wheelies in and out. We've also just decided we're having our breakfast on Sunday morning on our balcony. You know, just just for the just because we can. So I think tonight is definitely Brighton Marina date night. Go to Asda quickly, bring some stuff back so we can have um, pre drinks and things like that tomorrow. Um, and then basically, yeah, just enjoying it. So guess what I'm doing, guys? We're at Brighton Marina, my favourite place, well, my favourite part of Brighton, should I say, Brighton Marina, and I am introducing this one to Marina Life, and basically what actually is down here, because, yeah, I mean, this is like my third time. <laughs> so, we just ordered our food, and do you know what this one decided to do? What did you decide to do, sweetie? Well, you ordered nachos and after all spicy bits to be on the side. Rather than actually say, oh, can we have this, this and this on the side? No. Just all spicy bits on the side. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know what everyone's thinking. 
oh my god this actually looks so cool and our drink our drinks arrived and then like our start arrived straight away yeah all spicy stuff on the side good one hen good one it's pride day and i don't know if you can see who is behind me but i'm trying to persuade him to go for breakfast right now because we've got about 40 minutes in which to eat before one of my friends arrives because they're parking at our hotel. So we're down at breakfast and basically our hotel just come around and decided to offer him for a second. They're just like to a prosecco, it's like, oh go for it. So we're basically getting our drinking game on a little bit earlier than we thought, aren't we? You enjoying staying your Earl Grey then? You, you enjoy your Earl Grey. Well, the bow's in, I'm all glittered up. Alex is on the balcony and Jack's arrived! So, basically, yeah, we're literally gonna have drinks, watch the parade from our balcony, and then head up to Preston Park. So, you okay, hun? What was that face for? Are you, you, enjoy, are you gonna enjoy it? Uh-huh. Good, good. Are you glad we've got quite a good view? Uh-huh. Good, good. I hope he's happy. <laughs> the sesh on the balcony is very real. Alex has Budweiser, like Budweiser. You've got, well, you've got Pepsi because you're driving. My wine, being classy and drinking from the bottle. Oh, Don't judge me, people. <laughs> there are no glasses in the room suitable for wine because I'm not drinking wine out of a tumbler. <laughs> Brought me a glass of wine up yesterday. Honestly, guys. But yeah, cheers and happy pie. I have had to give you lot the uh, mobile phone fish of the Orange family, but BA is right down there. Yes, my red, white, and blue family. I can
Pride event and like there's a second day of events going on today but we go back to like this, like, later this afternoon and surprisingly not hungover like well I'm not surprised that I'm not hungover because we didn't really drink that much we didn't get completely wasted or anything um we had a few casualties yesterday my knee bless the fact that I came out of my chair quite a few times um but yeah, we won't go into that. <laughs> but no, so we're just chilling. We've got room service coming for breakfast. We're going to go have it out on our balcony when it when it gets here. But the weather's pretty abysmal at the moment. The fog's not lifted yet. But hopefully once it lifts, it'll be quite a nice day. So, um, yeah. Are you okay, sweetie? You cracking? Oh, my actual days. Look how much food we have. This is crazy. Like, okay, this is for both of us. But, like... There's so much food. And then we've also got another tray over here as well. And it's like, what the hell? It's like, oh my god. Crazy, crazy, very crazy. Well, <laughs> welcome to breakfast on the balcony. With the view of beautiful Brighton and the i360 that Alex is still refusing to go up. So... I'm just going to have to do that with friends at some point again because the i360 is one of the highlights of Brighton as far as I'm concerned and this one doesn't want to go on it well, we're off down to the pier we left our bags at the hotel but technically checked out now well, we made it <laughs> Alex is just like straight in front of me like whatever just wondering why the hell I'm vlogging still but Hey, it's day two, and even though we go back today, like, I did promise I'd give you guys, like, a realistic thing, so, you know, this is literally what we're doing right now, going into the pier. Alex is going to try and get a teddy from Brighton. Uh, oh. Another arcade on the pier, and now we found the Pikachu one. It's like, oh my god. Let's see if we can get one. Like last time. Yeah.
hit the jackpot. Wait, sorry. I hit the jackpot first go. That is how many we've hit this time. train home and this one is so sassy because we basically decided that we'd get food at Gatwick because well I was getting hangry and because of that I was getting very grumpy and this one was like oh you need to make sure that you know you're not grumpy and at me and I was getting hungry so we had to get food we also had to have a bit of a Alex break anyway, didn't we? Alex needed a tag break. <laughs> so, especially with that sort of connection where we literally got in just as the last train before this one was leaving, so we got an hour at Gatwick. And someone forgot the ID, which meant the no discount, but it's okay because I don't mind treating you. Do I? You got cake? You're happy? But yeah, last train home. Woo. It's Monday and I just, whilst editing this video, I just want to put this message on the end because whilst I had an amazing time at Pride and it was brilliant and I loved the entire re weekend, there was one, like a couple of things that were linked to one thing in Pride in the Park that actually marred the experience. Now, you will see in the videos just back then that especially with Kylie, we weren't even in the main area. We physically couldn't see the performance. We were having to try and watch it on a screen that was really, really awkward to watch from. All because they overbooked the viewing platform, not by a couple of disabled people, but by almost 200. Now, the viewing platform apparently can accommodate 100 wheelchair users or disabled people and their carers. And I'm not being funny enough in, I've seen the viewing area, it looks like it can accommodate maybe 30 wheelchairs. So, hmm, answer that one. The next problem is they allowed nearly 300 applications to go through knowing they were overbooked and they didn't put in any additional provision for disabled people to be able to watch that show. So we were either left with chilling in the access tent which wasn't an option and I'll explain in a second, or by going to this area by the access tent, 
and trying to watch this screen if you could see above the tarpaulin fencing which for me was not happening and in the end i i had enough and was like you know what before the before it turns into an absolute rampage and you know someone gets hurt we're getting out of here because as a wheelchair user when everyone you know a lot of everyone around you is starting to get quite drunk and you haven't got your own like safe area you do kind of start feeling a little bit like oh my god what the hell but the thing about this that really annoys me the most is pride is all about equality inclusivity and celebrating that and celebrating that we need equal rights and celebrating inclusivity and celebrating who we are at the end of the day and the fact that you know pride is all of us together and you know brighton's pride the the message for brighton pride this year was we stand together and it's really heartbreaking when it fe it honestly felt like with pride in the park they were excluding disabled people from being able to fully enjoy the event and fully take part because you literally were left with no option but to leave early or just stay and not see the performance at all especially with kylie's one i mean like yes i managed to get into near the main area for a bit but the moment i needed to go to the toilet that was it we couldn't get back in and also the access tent became literally a free-for-all there were people who didn't have the access passes who realized there were toilets back there bear in mind these are the only disabled toilets in the entire pride in the park area the only ones and it got be it started being used as a free fall there were people inside who were giving out the access bands to people who didn't have them on and it's like i'm not being familiar, but that's our safe place that's where we go you know that's where electric wheelchair users go to charge their electric wheelchairs that's where you know if you've got a sensory disability that was the one place where you could kind of get away from the crowd, this, that and the other. And I'm not being funny enough, but that space, the moment they started letting it become a free-for-all, that safe space was severely compromised for us and that should have never been allowed to happen. And what really annoyed me was we were speaking to some people who went to Brighton last year and they were saying that last year when the viewing platform got full, they put wheelchair users and other disabled people who needed to be on the viewing platform in front of the VIP area so they could still watch the show and watch the concert and I'm not being funny enough then but they should have been able to do that this year there were 30 to 40 available seats in the VIP area as well that were empty and they weren't letting any of the ambulatory disabled people use them which I just thought was absolutely ridiculous and should you know it should have never been allowed to happen and i'm not being thinking like i said but i had a really amazing weekend in brighton overall but that marred it a little bit however for some people that's ruined their whole pride weekend like this for some people i mean it was my first time at brighton pride but for some people that's their first ever pride experience that's their first pride event and that should that is not a good experience to give someone on their first ever pride let alone any you know let alone anyone who's been to pride before like it shouldn't be allowed to happen at an event that is all about equality and inclusivity and driving that and you know fighting for those rights at the end of the day um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog i hope you enjoyed the following the instagram stories everything else I am at Summer in the City on Friday, so I will try and vlog a little bit. I'm in Luxembourg Thursday as well, so that's probably going to be a combined vlog that will be out over the weekend. And don't forget to subscribe to the main channel as well with notification bells on because there are new travel-related reviews, including hotel reviews and a couple of other bits that are going on in the next few months that will be coming out every single Thursday. And every review I do on video... I always put the full blog post in the description as well. So feel free to go and check those out. And yeah, have a great rest of the day. If anyone wants to speak, um, message me about Pride or anything like that, feel free to. I'm happy to help out where I can in terms of answering questions, things like that. And yeah, have a good one. See you later.